Today we're going to talk about strumming on an ukulele, from the very basics all the way up to some really advanced strumming patterns. The first thing we want to cover is how to properly hold and strum on an ukulele. We don't want to try to work it like a guitar and have it kind of on one knee and and strum over the sound hole, it doesn't quite work. So what we want to do is instead have the ukulele resting on our other arm, on the arm that's going to do the strumming. This gives us some really good control and a solid basis for actually holding our ukulele. Now I'm going to strum using my index finger. I'm going to use my nail to go down and my forefinger to come back up. Now when I go down, I want to make sure I'm using the middle of my fingernail to go down. That's going to, first of all, make sure I don't scrape up my finger, um, which hurts a lot if you do it over time. And the other thing is to make sure I get some really clear sound so I can get every single string to come out. Same thing when I come back up, I want to use the middle of my forefinger get every note. So make sure that when you strum, you're getting every note to come out nice and clear. Now I have my hand tilted slightly down to make sure I get the middle of my nail and my forefinger when I strum. And when I strum, I'm going to use a little bit of my wrist and a little bit of my arm as well to get that strumming motion. So let's talk about our first strumming pattern. This, this pattern is the all down pattern. So all I'm going to do are down strokes. I'm going to do four of them per measure. So it's going to sound like this. So it's down, 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 down. And again, I'm using the middle of my nail to go down, and I'm really trying to emphasize every single string. This pattern is called the Calypso pattern. It goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. faster and it sounds like this. This next pattern is a down, down, up, 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 down. Down, down, up, 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 down. Down, down, up, 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 down. Down, down, up, 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 down.
This next pattern is really similar. We're going to go down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Now when I use this with multiple chords, I'm going to switch the chords in the middle of that pattern. Here's how it sounds. So I'm going down, down, switching chords, up, 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 down, up, down, up, switching chords, down, down, switching chords, up, 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 down, up, down, up. This next strumming pattern is one of my favorites. It goes like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's a pretty basic strumming pattern, but what we're going to do is we're going to emphasize certain strums. So it's going to be like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. This is the same strumming pattern that's used in Soul Sister, which sounds like this. And again, it's just a down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we're emphasizing two of those strums in that pattern. For this next strumming pattern, I'm going to use my thumb as well as my index finger. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to go down with my index finger and play just the top string with my thumb. Okay. So I'm going to go down, thumb, up, down, thumb, up, down, up. Down, thumb, up, down, thumb, Again, I'm just using my thumb to play the very top string of the ukulele. Going a little faster, it sounds like this. This next technique is called triple strumming. The way that it works is I'm going to come up with my thumb, up with my index finger, and then down with my index finger. So it's up with my thumb, up with my index finger, and then down with just my index finger. Just like that. But I'm going to play it fast. So it's up, up, down, up, up, down, but even faster than that. I'm going to try to do it all in kind of one motion, just like that, rolling my thumb and my index finger. And that's called a triple. So it's all three strokes in one beat.
So for this pattern, we're just going to repeat the triple. Now we're going to take that same triple that we did before and we're going to work it into our calypso pattern. Now remember the calypso pattern is that down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And we're going to add in our triple to it. So we're going to go down, down, up, up, down, and then do a triple. Thumb, index, index. Now we're going to work on doing some right hand muting. So the way that I do that is I cover the strings with my right hand and I play with my index finger. That gives me a clicking sound like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down, up, put my hand over the strings and make that clicking sound. Down, up, and then up again. Down, up, click, up, down, up. I'm just using the side of my hand to mute the strings so I can use my index finger to get that clicking sound. Now I'm going to use that same muting technique that we just did in the calypso pattern. So I'm going to go down, cover the strings, and click, up, up, cover the strings, and click again, and then up. So it's down, click, up, up, click, up. It's a little slower. Down, cover the strings, click, up, up, cover the strings, and click, and then up. faster. Now we're going to put a couple of different techniques together to do a really cool strumming pattern used by Iz in the song Over the Rainbow. Here's how it works. We're going to use our thumb to hit just the top string of the ukulele. Then we're going to go down with our index finger, up with our index finger, we're going to do a click, we're going to go up, down, up. Thumb, down, up, click, up, down, up. Thumb, down, up, click, up, down, up. Thumb, down, up, click, up, down, up. So over the rainbow it sounds like this. So let's combine left and right hand muting into a single strumming pattern. Now earlier we did a strumming pattern where we used the calypso pattern and added in muting. Let's add in that left hand muting. So I'm just squeezing with my left hand when I want the chord to ring out.
technique is one of the hardest on the ukulele. It's called slapping. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to just slap on either the neck or the body of the ukulele to get different percussion sounds. Now it sounds pretty easy, but it can be pretty hard to work that into a strumming pattern where you have to slap and then get right back into your strumming pattern. Earlier, we had our strumming pattern where we did the right hand muting and the calypso pattern. Let's try to add in a slap and see how this is going to work. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down, click up, and replace the second up stroke with a slap, click up. So again, it's down, click up, slap, click up. 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 The tricky part is going from the slap into the click. So you may want to practice that a little bit on its own. Slap and then click. Slap, click, slap, click. Just like that. So again, down, click up, slap, click up. Down, click up, slap, click up. A little faster, it looks like this. We can also hit different parts of the uke, like the body. To get different sounds. For this next technique, we're going to use a triple, and we're going to add in a mute. So it gives us kind of a stuttering sort of, of rhythm. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to go up with my thumb, up with my index finger, and instead of going down with my index finger, I'm going to do a click instead. So up with my thumb, up with my index finger, and then click. When I do it fast, it sounds like this. Alright, for our last strumming pattern, our grand finale, we're going to take that last strumming pattern that we just did with the slap in it, and we're going to add in left hand muting. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, again, go back to that, that calypso pattern with the slap. But now I'm going to add in left hand muting. So I'm going to let go of the strings and squeeze down just when I want the sound to come out. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in that stuttering that we just did. So here's how it's going to sound. Thanks for watching this video, I really hope it was helpful for you. Feel free to leave a comment, like, or subscribe.